Eternal Squad, man. How y'all feel? It's AC Lucky back with another video. And I want to tell y'all this, bruh. On some real shit, like, we saved my life. Like, low key. Like, when I really think about it, I'm like, okay. Let me look back at all those times where I was just at that space of mind, just trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. And once I started smoking weed, it's like, I see everything. Like, one thing they can't say about weed, they can't say weed doesn't activate your third eye. They can't say that. Because as soon as you hit the weed, it's like all that shit go out the door. It's like you actually see the physical as an illusion. But I'm not going to say weed is a good thing or weed is a bad thing. I'm going to say this. Weed is a spiritual plant. That can really save people lives, bro. No bullshit. Like, weed is so funny. Like, weed, people can die from weed. And people can really, like, use weed as medicine to heal their trauma. Think about weed. Weed is a tool on God. You can't, t you can't tell me weed is not a tool. Weed is a tool. Me, I use weed as a tool. Because it's like... When you really want to go deeper in the rabbit hole, when you really want to go deeper within yourself, it's like, we is a tool to go wherever you want to go. Like, if you want to astral, if, if you really want to astral project, I recommend you to try, I'm saying, hitting the gas, 18 in order. I'm saying, hitting the gas. Like, hitting the gas, it just sit with your thoughts. It's like, when you hit the gas, it's like, okay, you just sit with your thoughts. You just vibing with your thoughts. Like, you can do that on a regular. Like, you can do that meditating outside. Like, nigga, I'm, I'm basically trying to say, like, we, like, we saved my life, gang. Like, no bullshit. I'm basically trying to say that. We saved my life. It saved my life and it scarred me at the same time. It made me really think about shit. When I wasn't thinking about shit, when I, when I smoked the weed, it made me really think about shit. It really, it made me really, really think about my life. Like, gang, like. You ever got so high, it's just like, it's just you and your thoughts. And you can't come down, so it's like, this high is going to wear off in the next 24 hours, next day type shit. Like, when I used to smoke weed heavy back then, it's like, that feeling of you being so, so high, that feeling is so intense. It's like, what the fuck is going on? Like, who am I? Like, nigga, am I my El Papo? Am I my El Papo? Like, am I El Chapo or something? Because why everybody looking at me all of a sudden when I'm getting on the You know that? Yeah, y'all. Yeah. So I just want to say, like, if you 18 and older and you really trying to connect with the guy within, smoking weed definitely, it definitely helped me connect with the guy within. Because all them times, it really prepared me for this chapter of my life. I'm going to say that for sure. I'm going to say, we prepared me for this chapter of my life. Like, my ancestors prepared me. Like, they knew, they knew, like, I'm a rock star, man. So, it's like, come on, send him help. Send him help. Give, give, him, give him my hand. So, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's just me. But the weed nowadays bullshit. I need to go to an island. I need to go to a, 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 a. Jamaica, I need to go to a country that really got that, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm scared to smoke this shit because nowadays people just lace and shit. I don't want to get laced. I don't want to get laced. I'm saying so don't smoke everybody weed and every all weed is not weed. All weed is not good weed. All weed is not good weed. But I definitely say that the plant marijuana, it definitely changed my life. It definitely helped me see myself as that nigga in the present moment of today. I'm just going to keep it that simple. It's very powerful. It's a very powerful tool. If you use this if you use this tool the correct way, you are a divine being. No cap. If you use smoking marijuana the right way, you are a divine being. You are walking closer to your calling because it's like you really hear the ancestors, you really hear quote unquote God, you really hear God speaking to you. Cuz God is you. God is Laid within you, the kingdom of, you know what I'm saying, the kingdom of heaven. 
It's within you. Heaven is within you. I had a kid ask me, was heaven or hell a real thing? And I said, heaven is your mind. Hell is your mind. It's your mindset. It's how you view yourself. That's what is heaven or heaven. Heaven or hell, I mean. How you view yourself, plan, it, it, it really dictates where you go after this world. Like, how you view yourself now, it's important to really study that. And how you view yourself five years from now, it's important you should study that. Damn, I really lost track of this shit. Hello, hello. He asked me, was heaven or heaven, heaven or hell real? He asked me that. He said, was heaven or hell real? And I said, hell is a mindset. That's a low vibration. High, like, heaven is you vibrating on a high vibration and you are attracting abundance. You are, you giving, like, you sharing your love. That's heaven right there. Because how you really treat yourself in this current timeline of life, it dictates where you go from here on out. Because death is an illusion. Whoever you are, you are a spirit and soul. And if you don't have a spirit, you have a soul. Your soul been on many realms of this so-called life. So, yeah. Definitely, y'all. <laughs> I know sometimes I just be talking. It's because that be me. And I only talk to me. I don't talk to nobody else. But damn. Let me tell y'all about this shuddy I met at today at uh, the mall, right? But I haven't popped out in a minute. But I was at the mall today with my grandma and my... And my I'm going to call her my angel. She like my angel because she seen something in me today. She was like... She, she, she just seen something in me today. It's like... Nigga, when you just vibrate high or something like that, or you just... A natural person. Like, you could be a normal person, but it's like somebody always... Like, they like... Like, why they don't, like, why, like, my grandma be hating on my hair? Why my mom be hating on my hair? Like, my hair, like, my hair like that. What you talking about? You feel me? But, I met this girl today at the Champs. And she watching this video. You might be my soulmate. I'm not going to care. Like, as soon as I lock eyes with you, it's like, I seen a spark. You feel me? I seen some type of spark. And I definitely remember you. I, I remember you from somewhere. Like, I really don't remember. But I definitely remember you for sure. And I told you, you can own all this shit. Be that simple. Everybody that's listening to this right now, you can own all this shit. All this shit, cheat. All this shit is 10 cents and down below. You know what I'm saying? Like, all this shit, 10 cents and down below. Like, all this shit come from China. Like, this shit right here, like, all this shit we use come from China, low key. But, uh, yeah, y'all. We definitely changed my life in a good way, in a bad way. I've been down the, the bad way, the good way, but it's like, at the end of the day, I'm still allowed to really preach this message to the youth. Like, it's okay if you do whatever you do. Just make sure you know what you're doing. Just make sure you use everything around you as a tool to become a better person. Because once you come, once you become a better person, all the other stuff is going gonna, gonna to fall in line. You feel me? It's alignment for a reason. It's a divine being for a reason. You feel me? But... I want to tell y'all this, though. Never forget AC Lucky said this. I told y'all I was going to be one of the greatest. I told y'all that I'm punching the ticket in for Etona Squad. I'm punching the ticket in for the, the people that's coming in. You feel me? Like, I told y'all that. You feel me? So, use my old videos. If you are watching my videos in 2024, use this as a, as a guide. Use this as a, like... Admire this so you can reach your success. Because I understand what success is now. I'm not going to say I know everything about success because I don't. But it's really about using your tools. Using your tools to the fullest. Like trusting yourself to the fullest. Because. Damn, I had a, 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 a freeze. But if I didn't trust myself to make music, I wouldn't make music. Like, you got to build whatever you call confidence. You got to build that up. I don't think confidence is a real word to this in this matrix. It's not a real word. It's just meant to keep you confused and competing with people. But 
you was your story as a guy to really go up in life because that's what I did. I used my story. I used the person I am as a soul to really get inspired by because I've been through a lot of shit. If not shit in this life, I'm talking about shit in other lives, YouTube. Like, we went through hell and shit in our past life, but I'm like, y'all don't give it a hot. But, y'all see the new, you know what I'm saying? AC putting in work right now, putting in pain right now, but it's cool. It's cool. I look at everything as a blessing, bro. It's a blessing and an opportunity to be here and talk to a camera. I got to see my dad today. So, I'm, I'm I'm cool. You feel me? I'm cooling right now. You know what I'm saying? That's why they call me AC. I'm cooling right now. And I'm just vibing and talking to myself. I, that, I guess that's what you want to call it. But, uh, definitely shout out to that uh that girl with the champs that I met today. You know what I'm saying? Shit, shout out to her on God because I felt a good, I felt a good vibe. You know what I'm saying I felt a good vibe. You feel me? But what else I gotta say? Uh, trust yourself. Trust yourself. Trust yourself.